Hey, Motorman here. And if you're wondering why you didn't get to see a video of my thoughts on the 2023 Harley Davidson lineup last week in the 18th, it's because on the 18th, I was on my way down to Homestead, Miami Raceway to take the two day course. Got to speak with an interview, Kyle Wyman, got coached by him as well as many other professional racers. I took this very bike down there, but better late than never. So today we're going to talk about the lineup and what I think of it. Was I excited? Was I uh, not so thrilled? Well, let's talk about it. First, we'll discuss the only really new model for 2023, and that's the Breakout or they, well, they brought back the breakout, but it is a, a very different motorcycle than it was. Got now a, the 117 motor, very important. And of course, a five gallon gas tank. The bars come back quite a bit more for a much more comfortable ride. Now this particular motorcycle, I admit it's a very beautiful looking bike, but it's not really my cup of tea. My son had one of these, I think a 2014 model, didn't have it long because he's in the Air Force and they wind up shipping him out of the country for well he's been there now three or four years out of the country so we sold the bike for him this is a really sharp looking color this orange it's got some metallic in it really good looking bike as i said just not my type of motorcycle because it's not exactly the the most nimble motorcycle you can get it comes in several different colors this is a denim black i believe it's called and it also comes in a gray color also new on this model is it's got traction control as well as ABS and that's pretty important out on the road it's gonna it's gonna help you quite a bit now let's move along to the anniversary model CVO 2023 CVO road glide really good looking I love the, the, the what they do with these colors here and, and the, the way it fades into the black which is actually a really dark cherry color but unless you see it out in the sun, you're not going to realize that. But yeah, it's just, as you probably thought, there's a lot of money, about $52,000. And here's the 975 Nightster S model. Now this year with the S model, generally they give you some more horsepower, but the horsepower the motor is exactly the same as last year's 975, which is, by the way, still available. They did add a passenger seat, passenger pegs and some new graphics and colors also new wheels which i like they they almost look like spoke wheels this as far as i know has not been setting the world on fire as far as sales but i think uh, adding a passenger pillion in the pegs that that might help also the s designation comes in several different colors of course you can see them all on the website as as well as the msrp so it's not really a totally new model a little bit different gauges also and some it's a little bit more pullback on the handlebars, which to me makes sense. Gives you more upright riding position, especially if you got two people on the bike. It's going to make things more comfortable. Now let's move on to the anniversary colors and which models have that color, which by the way is called Heirloom Red Fade. And it is beautiful from, from every angle. In addition to the anniversary colors, you get different badging all over the motorcycle, a brand new badge on the tank, which to me looks very cool. I also like the ox blood they give you on the seat to sort of blend in with the new color this looks to me very similar to the st diablo they did last year but it's if you saw them together there is quite a difference but beautiful color price on this motorcycle is the base model is twenty thousand one ninety nine. if you want to add the anniversary color and the anniversary touches it's going to cost another 1500 bucks and here's the anniversary model of the heritage now standard with the lace wheels which really looks good on this model as does the anniversary color and the way they blended it in with the seat and the, the saddlebags there i like that touch i think those saddlebags were always just a little bit too plain but with the anniversary it looks really good i like the looks of it and it's going to cost you another 1500 bucks for the anniversary colors and from what i understand all the anniversary motorcycles are going to be limited numbers so there won't be, you know, thousands of them made. I, I believe it's something like 1,500, but I could be wrong about that. So their Heritage, another model that gets the anniversary colors. And here's the Road Glide Special in the anniversary color, the Heirloom Red Fade. Looks great on this motorcycle. And, of course, you've got the different badging on the air filter and uh, on the tank. It's going to run you some money on this motorcycle. It's... 
$27,999 for the special. And then if you want the anniversary colors, $2,900. Ouch. Extra. But again, limited numbers. I'm sure they'll sell every one of them. The Street Glide special also gets the anniversary colors. And for some odd reason, it's only fifteen, only fifteen hundred dollars extra for the paint or the anniversary paint on the street glide. Possibly because the fairing is a bit smaller, it takes a little bit less paint. I'm guessing at that. The Ultra Limited also gets the anniversary colors, for an additional, once again, three thousand dollars. Base price twenty nine seven ninety nine. That's not counting freight and prep and surcharges or anything else. Just the base MSRP. So you got an anniversary edition in the Ultra Limited, and it's going to cost you an extra 3000 bucks. Also, limited edition model. The 2023 Tri-Glide Ultra. Yes, there is an anniversary edition. Base price $36,499. And if you want the anniversary edition, which is going to be made in limited numbers, it's an additional, get this, $4,800. Wow. But some people are going to buy it and spend that kind of money. It's okay with me. I'm not a fan of trikes, but maybe one day when I'm too old to ride a two-wheeler, I'll be looking at trikes a little bit closer. Newsflash also, this year there is going to be a King of the Baggers Triglide race. And Kyle Wyman, 2021 King of the Baggers champion, his great-grandfather will be leading the Harley-Davidson team. Okay, I just made that up. It's silly, I know. And I almost forgot there is another new model, and that is the Road Glide 3 trike. Yes, I know everybody's been asking for one of these. I want a freewheeler or a trike, but I want that Road Glide fairing because it's attached to the frame instead of the handle, but whatever. Here it is, folks, and there is no anniversary edition available. MSRP for the basic black starts at $32,999. So overall, I may be a little disappointed or underwhelmed. I was hoping to see more new models, but for what uh, Harley-Davidson is saying, they're going to be introducing new models throughout the year. So something to look out for. And coming up this Thursday, I'm going to give you, probably going to do this in three parts, but I was at Champ School, took the full two-day course on the track. Total course is like 24 hours, so there was a lot of time on the track. Got to interview Kyle Wyman, got to be coached by him. And I'll show you the good, the bad, the ugly of what I did on the track. And I think you really enjoy that. So make sure you subscribe and click that notification bell because that should be coming up part one anyway this Thursday. I have to admit, Kyle, being here with you, I'm a little starstruck. Oh, really? No. <laughs> no, it's the